How you doing, fam bam? I know you're all here wondering about AMD's RX 9070 and the RX 9070 XT. Is it coming out? Is AMD going to announce it? Because we all saw the CES keynotes that AMD had, and we were all pretty disappointed with the fact that they didn't announce it right then and there. But I can tell you for sure, it was for certain that it was supposed to be part of the show and it was even in their slides. But before we go further on that topic, I do want to mention that this is the very video that I will announce the one lucky winner who will win the $50 Visa giveaway. Make sure you stay tuned to find out who it is. It may be you. But anyway, let's go back into topic and talk about AMD's mysterious RX 9070. Excuse my voice. I'm still not 100%, but hopefully you can understand everything that I'm saying. But anyway, let me get back to the point here. The 9070 XT and the 9070 are going to be the successors. The unicorn does exist. If you were tuned in with me live at CES, as you saw, I went to Asus and I went to Gigabyte and they did clearly have the graphics card available. That was the AMD 9070. Matter of fact, even when I went to AMD's uh, floor, they even had the RX 9070 XT available as well. Just sitting up there on the shelf, just where nobody would notice it, which was kind of funny. And uh, hopefully I caught that live. If I didn't, I apologize. They also had it in AMD's keynote. But you guys are here for more of the details about what does the AM, the RX 9070 XT or the 9070 really do offer? Well, I can say for certain that there are some indications and some specifications that were around CES. For example, power collar had some specifications that were listed there, but of course it can change. Now, first I do got to say that AMD said that the PCI Express bus for AMD's Ryzen RX 9070 is going to be PCI Express 4. But I can tell you with power colors specifications, it does say different. Up to 2560 megahertz over 3060 megahertz. Now with the silent BIOS 2460 megahertz over 3010 megahertz. Now the power connectors, as you saw when I showed you Gigabyte's version of the RX 9070, there are three 8-pin connectors that means must be powered to the card. On top of it, the memory is up to 16 gigabytes and it is a 256-bit bus. Now, interestingly enough, there are some details out there about different type of numbers that the cards are pulling. Now, what the leaks are saying, 4070 Ti Super, that's right before the 4080, and then you have the RX 9070. This is off a 3D Mark Speedway. Now, so far, it's sounding pretty promising. 3D Mark Speedway, it's getting about 6345, which is more than likely a decent score. Usually, I like to use Fire Strike and Fire Strike Ultra when it comes to 3D Mark. And I do like to use their new DX12 test, which is their steel. Now, if you look at comparables, now compared to its predecessor, like the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT, you're looking at where it had 20 gigabytes of VRAM and it also had a 320 bit bus. Now, most importantly, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that really want to show off this card. Sapphire, one of the top developers when it comes to AMD's Radeon cards. They are clearly the number one when it comes to Radeon cards if you really want to get the best out of them for best aftermarket cooling. Sapphire's page has really wants to show off the pulse where they have a dual fan one and they even have one that's up to triple fans. I believe scheduled and posted or these posts scheduled and posted that they have not really released much more details. It is certainly evident enough that you have a lot of manufacturers, a lot of merchants out there that have this pre-published where they had this card ready to go. And you had BH Photo that released the cards, but then immediately took 
down the cards as they had the asus radeon rx 9070 prime and they also had the xt prime if you're curious about the pricing personally to me i thought amd was waiting for nvidia to push out their cards so they got an idea on pricing but that's really not the case there is a lot more going behind the scenes when it comes to amd they want to give a definitive fair pricing when it comes to their gpus but exactly what is it originally it was rumored that the RX 9070 XT was going to be $650. Then it dropped down to $600. The RX 9070 might be as low as $479. And the RX 9070 XT might be as low as $575 for these cards. But, of course, these are all rumors. So take it with a grain of salt. But AMD strictly says that the PCIe bus will be down to PCI Express 4 X16. But again, time will see because we have seen definitive proof that ASUS had the RX 9070 at the gold fingers look like a PCI Express 5 X16 card. Same with power color as they match. So if you're excited for this RX 9070, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. And as for the winner of this week's $50 Visa giveaway contest, that one winner is Sarah. Congratulations, Sarah. I will be emailing you and contacting you. Everyone congratulates Sarah for winning the $50 Visa gift card. Fan man, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into PC and gaming, Please share this video with them. And also, if not part of the big, wonderful fan, man, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my XML right here, as this is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And don't forget to follow the new Discord channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.